What's going on everybody? It's Black Friday. We're here at the Arlington location. As you guys know, this is uh, the best day of the year uh, where we basically go through uh, our old inventory and start putting up for deals. So without further ado, let's show you guys a little behind the scenes as to what happens in the store, uh, what goes on running a business uh, on Black Friday. And you know us, we just moved over here at the Park Mall location. So as you guys know, it's an indoor mall, so a lot of traffic. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit behind the scenes, what goes on. Uh, so let's get the video started, let's go. Right, guys before we start the video make sure you guys like subscribe and comment down below what you guys think is going to be the best part of the video what you guys want to see behind the scenes and if you guys have any other advice or if you guys need advice as to how to run a business uh, make sure you guys put that down in the, in the comments so uh to start it off all right guys so we it's 12 23 right now p.m so i'm going to show you guys a little bit again the numbers that we're going on right now so this is actually where we're at right now as far as sales between both locations right now we're at twelve thousand five hundred and thirty three dollars uh, for both locations we have a total of 42 orders so 42 transactions and right now we have 1,562 sessions so what that means is that it's people that are going on our website and looking at the sizes that they need or going over and looking at what shoes they need so that way I can have a better idea as to like what specific shoes they want or what uh, specific sizes they want so again it's 1223 right now so this is where we're at right now we'll see we'll check back in like within uh, an hour or two and see where we're at with the numbers um, so as far as what so shoes are moving, as you guys see right here in the bottom, we have a lot of the pandas ready to go. Uh, we decided to put them here on the floor because uh, they're our number one top sellers right now. So as you guys already know, it's holiday season, uh, everyone wants pandas. So this is why we have them here ready to go. This is not all of them, but this is just a last minute delivery that we did get in the store. All right, well, we were filming, we had another sale for 287. So the, obviously the thing's gonna update right here. Yeah, so it's updating. So as, as you guys see, it's just going in continuous motion. Uh, right now, again, we're in the back. So our, the, our wonderful employees are working hard right now, getting sales up. So shout out to them on that. Uh, good thing that people don't know when running a store is that you guys need to have a good team of, of employees that are able to get sales up. So that's, uh, I would say we have a solid team for, for that to happen. So th thankful for them. And yeah, that's an, a good advice that I would like to put out uh, for any shop, sh shop owner that's currently watching the video so that you definitely need to have a, a solid team for sales so this is why these numbers are producing again we'll see in an hour or two how it's going we'll see who's the top seller at the time and yeah we'll go from there I normally don't do this but I just wanted to show you guys the fit that we got going on we got a vintage car hard jacket we got a vintage Pearl Jam t-shirt we got some minimal cargo pants shout out to minimal and then as you guys know RIP Virgil what happened to Virgil the off-white Chicago's uh, I see our guy behind the camera stepped out in some crazy stuff the I'm a Manier 4 Jeez. <laughs> bro I haven't seen those in the cream laces I, they actually look clean with the clean with the cream with I'll the cream the, laces I took the laces off the I'm a Manier 2's and put oh so up. they didn't come with those no What's okay like those look clean yeah Sorry, but they, 11, 11? they they pop Seven. they yeah. pop more that's, that's a solid one they hurt though but I mean and then my wife Jocelyn she had to step out in the, the Travis oh. Lowe's the first smoke so basically two shoe of the years oh yeah Top three. Top one three. and two. Oh, no, my yes. I put those number one. One and two. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, yeah, comment I down below. It's like a high beast theme because those are cheap. So that's one and then two. Comment down below what you guys think shoe of the years. It's already what we're in. We're about to be in no, December. So yeah. year's about to end. So let me know. Comment down what you guys think shoe of the year is. My personal one is uh, I, I'm a near force. Number one. Uh, Travis Low Reverse Mocha is number two, and then number three. I said it, but I, I can't remember. I would what say it. Lost and Found, but Lost and Founds. Yeah, it's just the nostalgic Chicago ones. You can't go wrong with them. It's actually a hot take. I'd say, I'd say top top five. Is, uh, I would have to throw in the Cactus Plant uh, flea markets. Those those are hard. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, sir. The Grinches. Oh. The as the ones that you just entered all right guys low <laughs> low update uh it's currently 12 27 friday november 25th uh the cactus plant flea market just did the raffle on the 
dunks that he's talking about right now. So comment down what you guys think about these. These are horrible. Fire. And he's putting these as top top five. I'll put no. Actually, we'll go to the top ten. You know, because I know there's a lot of other sneakers out there. So what number is this on? Well, I'd say eight. Eight. God. These are nowhere in, in my top <laughs> list whatsoever. No, I, what do you like about these? Just I just want to see what he says. What do you, well, why do you like? It's just it's it's different. It's it's it's, it's a dunk. It's a dunk. It's different. You know. It's it's I like furry. It. I like it furry. Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Our employees are obviously busy right now, but let them know what you got on. The Travis Scott Cactus Trails. I'm actually seventies. He said he gonna come back. Tell them. But tell them how many sales are done. Like four. Stop lying. <laughs> This little update, I want to show you guys a little bit of what actually is selling in the store. Uh, so today's November 25th, so these are actually our top products that are currently selling right now. Uh, Midnight Navies are listed as number one right now. We've sold three of them so far today. Uh, Military Blacks, uh, we've sold two of those uh, within the store. And then Military Black Grade School. So basically that kind of shows to you that uh, fours are currently the top one selling right now. And then also, as you guys can see here, Panda uh, Pandas are two sold today. So keep in mind, it's barely 1 p.m. We still got up until 9 p.m. Uh, to for the store to close. Uh, so those are a little bit of uh, the top sellers that are going in right now. Uh, and then also I want to give you guys an update as to where we're at on the sales. This is currently where we're at right now for today so far. So we'll yep. So we'll see how it turns out today. And then I'm gonna also show you guys because uh, we are doing a prize uh, for whoever sells the most today. I'm gonna show you guys right now who is at the top right now. So right now we have Christian at four, Andres at two, and Roberto at two. So, hey Rome, fit check real quick. Real quick fit check. All right, jacket, ready-made Parker. Hold on, wait. Under this. Ooh, hold on. I was telling him that we should do that TikTok. Like Gallery department. Versace. Versace. I'll pass. How much your fit cost? <laughs> Retail or what I paid? Retail. Both. Retail like 15 for this one. The galleries are like three. Pants are like another 11. Belt's like six. Shoes. I didn't pay for them, so. Prices. 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 You wanna ask me? $10 shirt, $20 jeans, shoes. Hey, our manager, Eden, you already know. Eden, fit check real quick. Yo, we got the LeBron T, 25 bucks. Got some minimal sweats and some Skyline. Wow. Oh, yeah, Nike D. All right, Ebernice. It's, my, it's actually my sister, guys. If you guys haven't seen her in the videos. It's my sister, Ebernice. Thrift store, t shirt for free. Mama shoes today. That's it. Gotta stay comfortable. Selling a size 12. Black Friday deals, $8.95. So today I got on this Lucky I See Ghost shirt. And then under I got on a Soul Fire tee with Carhartt. And then on the feet I got. I saw the Union Black Toe today in a size 12. We had at 8.95 a Black Friday special. He just came in. I helped him look around. I showed him everything we had. He just ended up choosing the Black Toe. Did he come in specifically for that pair? No, he came in specifically for Fragments in a size 13. But we didn't have it. And wow, well, I ended up talking to him, negotiating. Not really negotiated, but he just ended up taking it. Pretty much it. Ready for check out, check out, check out. They're still looking. Ron, what's moving? Bro, pandas, what else? Military blacks. Any of the fours, they move in. Uh, one Lowe's moving, I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> babe shirts, v -Lone, they love that, I don't know why. We had a couple of these, but a lot of the stuff that we had, these are just extra ones that we had, but a lot of the pandas that have been moving have been basically here. So this is just extra ones that we had last minute. It's currently 3.50 p.m. We're about to start wrapping it up a little bit and just start taking our breaks right now. Uh, since we've been basically on our feet all day, and I think right now we're probably, like I said, around four or five is when I think when we're gonna start seeing more, more people coming in the mall. So currently sitting at 32.6 and, oh, it's fucking going as it goes. Uh, and it's total orders, we have 108. So that's between both stores right now. So uh, shout out to Carson and Fredo. 
Them guys been killing it. And right now we're down one guy. One of them had to go out. Our main guys, if you guys haven't seen him on the video, he's he was with us at Secret Con Dallas. Roberto, he did a couple of the buyouts on that video. Um, he actually went home early because he actually said that he was feeling a little bit sick. So, you know, one less person out on the sales floor, which sucks for us. Uh, but, you know, hopefully it gets better. I'm tired as fuck, bro. This shit, my back fucking hurt and got me ripping and running. And I grab over here chatting it back, chatting it in the back. We're doing the video, the video <laughs> adds into the, 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 the yeah, yeah. craziness of the day. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, I, I want to say maybe Christmas Eve might be more crazier than this for sure. What do you think? Yeah, I, I could see that because like you said, last minute shoppers, it tends to happen, you know, even ourselves, we all procrastinate. Last minute shopping and shit. All right, guys, we forgot Julie. Fit check, what you got on? Okay, so I have this little cute black top on, and then I have this skirt from IMG, and I have Doc Martens on. Um, pretty good. It's kind of hectic today, and it was busy as hell. And yeah, no, I expected it to be packed today because I mean it's Black Friday and everybody's shopping for Christmas and stuff like that, and it's pretty packed, so. Yeah. So more overwhelming? More overwhelming, for, for sure. Because there's like 300 people that are coming up to you. They're like, hey, I, I need this, this, and that. And I'm like, oh my god. I'm only one person. Honestly, you know? I thought it was going to be more busy. Like really? More busy. I think it's pretty busy, actually. Uh, we officially broke our grand opening number. So we've only been here in the mall f since July 30th. Uh, now we're here November 25th, uh, August, September, October, November. Not even six months in. Uh, to us opening here at the mall. Uh, we already hit our, our numbers, which was gonna happen regardless. Uh, you know, obviously the holidays, everything starts going up and everyone just pretty much starts, you know, buying stuff. So uh, I wanna show you guys where we're at now. It's currently 5.08 p.m. So we still have three, four hours, four hours left in the want? day, which a lot of stuff can happen during those four hours. Um, our numbers for grand opening were actually, what was it at, Jose? 34 so we did 34 our grand opening here alone at this location uh, we're currently sitting right at 42 right now again we still have four days left or four, not four days, days. Left. sorry we still have four hours left in the day oh so God. we'll see what happens and we're currently having we currently have 132 transactions and sessions 2855 so that means that there's been that much people basically on our website shopping around and actually the cool thing about this is that it actually shows me uh people are sh currently shopping online on our website and it actually tells you how many people are currently on our website right now so that means that there's 40 people right now on our website either here or outside that are currently shopping around looking for a size or something so that's pretty cool to see and you know just it's just good Good expectations. I, I mean, you know, I was expecting numbers to be, you know, obviously higher than normal, but uh, I, I'm not disappointed. It, it, it's, 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 it's nice. I like it. I like it. <laughs> what? I, I always like to like kind of put my my expectations low because I feel like by me doing that, I, I, uh, if any, if it does over exceed them, then I can like you know be more proud of it than 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 putting my expectations high and the next you know it doesn't happen then i'm kind of you know so i'm kind of the opposite normally a lot of people they you know put their expectations high and then they you know which is good you know it just depends each person has their different way of thinking so other people prefer to have their expectations high so that way they can have like a a bigger goal or a bigger mindset but for me i just like to kind of keep it simple keep a, a a low ex a low expectation so that way if i do beat them i can kind of just keep working from there and, and and increase it as it goes but uh, i am very happy so far of how everyone's working as you guys see is it's just they're running around looking for shoes and stuff like that so you know we'll see how the end how the day goes you guys will get updated if you guys are not familiar we actually were in south lake um before this location so i just kind of wanted to just kind of throw my feedback as to how the store has been progressing since we've been here so uh we obviously moved in the mall because we thought that uh, we would be seeing a lot more foot traffic in here, which is correct. I mean, as you guys can see uh, throughout this video process that uh, we do see more people coming in. We have more sales coming in from those people since, you know, it is an indoor mall. A lot of the people come in here to shop at the end of the day. So uh, compared to when we were in South Lake, we saw a lot of the people kind of coming in, just, you know, just browsing around, uh, not not buying as much, which is OK. You know, it not it, we don't expect a sell a sell to happen every single engagement that happens so uh but over here we're able to kind of uh have more variety and to be able to uh, put more 
uh, inventory out compared to when we were in South Lake and just have it accessible to the customer. So um, over there in South Lake, you know, thankful for the opportunity that we had over there at South Lake Town Square, but uh, we are able to, you know, see the numbers differently than what we did in South Lake. So that's another big thing that a lot of uh, uh, business owners or a lot of people don't see or resellers don't see that uh, sometimes it's obviously good to just either move to a different, you know, move to a different demographic, which for us was moving in here in the mall. Uh, and, you know, obviously our numbers are, 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 are seeing uh the change so I, I just wanted to kind of throw that out for anyone that's watching that if you know they are in the process of maybe thinking of moving and stuff uh don't don't feel afraid to do that it's actually a good thing uh to maybe again see a different different uh area different market stuff like that so make sure uh if you guys are ever uh in that process to just you know jump in jump in ahead and make sure to do it so uh for us it's been doing really good ever since we moved here in the mall uh, we just basically moved out uh, from South Lake to, to make this our new home. So, so far it's been good. So, yeah. The first tamales is made and so, so bad. These are the first ones here. Check those bad boys out. Uh, it's currently 6.14 p.m. Uh, we still have nine hours to basically go until the end of the day. We're all exhausted. Um, our backs are hurting and everything. So just wanted to give you guys another update as to where we're at right now. So we are currently sitting right at 46.2. So my goal, hopefully by the end of the by the end of the day, I want to hit 50. What's up, guys? It's the following day. As you guys already know, it was a crazy day yesterday. So uh, I actually wanted to basically give a recap as to what happened. Um, we'll post the numbers that we did yesterday. So uh, for you guys that don't know, we actually did the best numbers that we ever did in Soul Plier history. Uh, thank you to everyone that stopped by at the store, cashed out with us. Uh, we're truly grateful for that. And with that being said, if you guys have any questions as to what so type of software we use, we actually use Shopify. Uh, helps us kind of get a little bit uh, understanding as, as to what analytics we use. All right, guys, as you guys already know, Soulplier does a giveaway every year uh, for the holidays. And obviously this year is no exception, especially with the new store opening. We did want it to go out with a bang. So I'm going to start off, show you guys what we're giving away. So first one, so you guys already know, holiday. Holiday shoe of the year, I would say. This is definitely uh, the top shoe that's selling right now in the store. So we have the Lost and Founds. So you guys already don't know, Lost and Founds came out this year, a couple of weeks ago. So this is definitely the number one shoe right now. So we did want to include that in the giveaway. Number two, you can't go wrong with fours. Military Blacks, as y'all already know, one of our top sellers as well right now for the whole month. Uh, Military Blacks, we will be giving away uh, a pair of these in your size if you guys are the winner and for the third prize we have a pair of the classic panda dunk lows the rules for the giveaway is pretty simple all you guys have to do is just follow us on instagram subscribe to the youtube channel and you guys have to comment down on the post which we will put a link on the description you guys have to comment your shoe size and tag three friends and then you after you guys are done with that make sure you guys comment on this youtube channel done and that pretty much sets you guys up for the giveaway so thank you guys again for everyone that stopped by black friday anyone that's shopped with us this year uh this is just a little bit a little token of our gratitude for everything you guys do as far as supporting us and the store so uh that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching this video make sure you guys like subscribe and comment down below we have a lot of videos coming out for 2023 thank you guys peace